Hey guys, and welcome back to Carrie's Collections. As you guys can see, I'm heading up a BAM box, which is where you get an autographed item in your box. Um, I think most of these are probably art prints. So, if you notice, I went ahead and pulled the tab because I cannot get my address off the back of this box. So, I'm going to open it, take everything out, and we're going to check out and see what I got. Well... <laughs> I got it off the bottom. Can't get it off the top. Nice. I don't know what month this is for any of you wondering. Oh my god, I'm making a mess. Okay, so these are all in hard plastic, it looks like. It looks like we've got some extra stuff in here. All right. Pretty cool enamel pen. So, I've never gotten anything autographed. I've never gone to a con and went, mm, I want to stand in line for an hour to get an autograph. About the only thing I probably would want to get autographed is by the chick who does Lena Inverse. Whose name I can't remember off the top of my head. Well, that was dangerous. I almost gave you guys my address. How dare I? Okay, so like I said, um, it looks like it gives you some extra items. And it's also telling you... Okay, so this is from Chainsaw Man. I did not who... Did not know who this was. I haven't seen Chainsaw Man, though. So that would be why. Um, so that's exciting. And it looks like we get, uh, Pokemon Mewtwo by Jay Goad, who is the voice actor for this character. And then you have an exclusive art print by Andrew Gong, which is One Piece. Uh, you have the choice between Luffy and, then Luffy in fifth gear. Apparently, if you get B, it's uncommon. And then, you can also get a rare, or an ultra rare, or a secret rare. Mmm, secret rare. Um, and then we also have Noragami and the two variants. I don't know either of these characters' names. Um, it says it's sparkly. How do you tell the difference? This one just says that it's exclusive. And then there's a glitter variant. Does it say on the back? I'm assuming mine is the not glitter version, which I'm fine with because I can live without some craft harpies. I do like this. This is probably going to go up on my board. I don't know what I'm going to do with the, the little peeker, though. And then we also have a pack of cards. Okay, so you open this, and if you get a gold card, you can also get one of these follow-up items. Uh, let's open this up and see if I got a gold card. Before I even get to the, <laughs> the other stuff. <laughs> okay. We've got Bakugo. We've got Ash. Luffy. Okay, y'all. I don't know this one. Okay, I get that this is done by one of your favorite artists, but I have no idea who the character is supposed to be. So that's kind of unfortunate. I didn't get a gold card, which I'm okay with. This is pretty interesting, though. I do like the Bakugo. I feel like that's his inner personality. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> yeah, I said it. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> These are also, apparently, some of the possible anime autographs. Okay, okay. And here are how the cards work. So... Bakugo is down here somewhere. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Does it say on the back? <laughs> I don't know. 
no, I'm too dumb. But anyway, moving on. Okay, so our first item would be, this is Luffy by Andrew Gong. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this looks like it says, but Mandrew Ong. Um, I realize that it's actually Andrew Gong, and it's probably by. He just has a funny way of writing. Um, and then this is Luffy in fifth gear, I believe. Which, I like Cloud Luffy. <laughs> I have no problems. And then you also have a certificate of authenticity, which is kind of a big deal for these. And then this is... Not who is the guarantor. There was a guarantor listed on their website, which I'm going to have to look it up. This one does not have a... Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted. This was guaranteed, or um, an authentic signature by Beckett. And this one says, this cannot be my destiny by J. Goad Mewtwo. And this is 10 of 50. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like the print. It's kind of wild. It's a little traumatizing for any of you who watched that movie and will forever be traumatized by that movie. <laughs> it lives right in, in, in many a millennial, millennial's head. You made Pikachu cry, y'all. That's, that's not kosher. <laughs> we need to talk to you about that. <laughs> not the bta it's a millennial whatever a all right so i so this is called big beast trading cards um i'm i'm not really too sure what's going on here it seems a little bit gimmicky to me and then you also have um chica from chainsaw i know peekers are i don't know five or ten dollars and then an, a good enamel pen like this is probably going to run between $10 and $15. So that's about $20 there. You've got an original work, one of 500 by Mr. Andrew Gong. I don't know how popular he is as an artist, so I can't give you any quantification on that. And then you've got Jay Goat over here, who's been authenticated. Getting a piece authenticated can be quite pricey anyway. So the that, fact that it already comes authenticated is great. <laughs> that is amazing it also helps that there is a certificate of authenticity on the back too um so all in all i think it's a pretty positive box if you are into um signatures or collecting signatures this might be up your alley i am not so much a signature collector i would have been more interested in this I kind of hope they come out with... If they just did a box of uh, enamel pens, I would be down. But that's probably never going to happen. <laughs> so we're going to go with that. Um, so yeah, I think for what it is, it is a great little introduction to um, signatures. I, again, don't know the values on these. But I only paid like $40 and I got two signatures, a pen and a peeker. And the pen and the peeker by themselves cover at least half of the process. So, and I don't recognize Andrew Gong, but that doesn't mean anything. There's a lot of artists out there that I wouldn't recognize. Um, and that's fine. That's perfectly cool. Uh, so I hope you guys hit that like and subscribe button. I hope I helped you out in your decision if you're going to try to check out the BAM box or no. I do know that they will tell you what to expect in the coming up box. Um, and like I said, I don't remember which box this says. I just know it's one of them. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.